have uh, Miss Rita Aura. Hello. Um, this is uh, all, all very uh, spontaneous for us. We just came to see, you know, some great friends over. It's nice to just have that kind of moral support, mm. especially sometimes. Those are little things that people don't really think about, you know. Um, and she smiles. Lynn is using his friends and the people that he fucks with, or at least the people that signs his non-disclosure agreements. He keeps getting them. The beautiful Rita Ora is finally letting out her issues with billionaire rapper Jay-Z, and it's not painting the blueprint hitmaker in a good way. Rita Ora has opened up about suffering a meltdown following her legal battle with Jay-Z in 2015, which saw her sue his record label, Rock Nation, after claiming they failed to support her career. Why? Because Jay wanted to control every single move Rita made. I'm 18 and I'm 21 now, mm -hmm. and um, I never believed people when they were like, be patient, because... In 2008, Rita signed with Jay-Z's label and released her debut album, Aura, but sued them seven years later, with her case claiming she was being neglected and felt like she had no support from the label anymore. Legal documents cited, Rita's relationship with Rock Nation is irrevocably damaged. Fortunately for Rita, the California legislature had the foresight to protect its artists from the sorts of vicissitudes she experiences with Rock Nation. Then in February 2016, Jay-Z's record label hit back at the claims, filing a $2.3 million lawsuit against Rita in an attempt to release her from her contract and gain some of the money they've invested in her back. Confused on why I wasn't out, and I didn't know what I wanted to put out. I just knew I wanted to say and be out. Rock Nation claimed they signed Rita as an unknown artist and invested millions in her career, with the contract stating that, in return, she had to deliver five albums. The label says it only got one album in the shape of her debut album, which was released in 2012, and TMZ says the point of the lawsuit was to gain money back as they had invested an estimated $3.2 million on marketing her second LP. The time I truly saw her on stage was at the Cartier event in New York City. To have that sort of stage presence. The pair eventually came to an agreement and reached a settlement out of court and Rita has now opened up about how the stressful time eventually led to her burnout. I lost a lot of confidence in myself, she says of the legal battle. I thought, what am I going to do? It felt like the worst thing, but it was the only decision I could make. My appreciation and respect for them haven't changed at all. The beautiful vocalist continued saying, it could have been bad, but it was very respectful. It was one of the easiest separations ever. It didn't go to court. I can't go into crazy political details, obviously, for reasons, but it was easy, amazing. That said, sources close to the British singer indicate that she fell out with Rock Nation because Jay-Z was determined to control every aspect of her life, including what songs she sang, the clothes she wore, and the place she lived. I mean, every single thing you'd ever thought of. This is not a far-fetched claim, considering Jay-Z has been accused countless times of manipulating and controlling Beyonce. And aside from battling to regain her musical freedom from Rock Nation, Rita was also plagued by rumors of being the Becky with the good hair, which featured on Beyonce's Lemonade album, allegedly about Jay-Z's cheating. Fans littered Rita's Instagram feed with emojis of lemons and bees after they read into a Snapchat picture of her wearing a lemon bra big time. So did Jay demand to have an affair with her as part of his controlling nature? And did the rumors leave her feeling about music's most famous power couple? I'm still happy I've had this incredible experience, she said when we quizzed her on it. Jay is one of my idols and Beyonce is obviously the queen of life. I'll never not appreciate the experience I had with them and the things I've seen. Ooh, what things do you think she's seen? Rita adds that Beyonce and Jay-Z have been great mentors, which doesn't sound like there's any hostility there to me. Although when asked if she's still close to the couple, she simply says, I look up to them a lot. Rita is lucky to get away from Jay, but Beyonce is there to stay, even though it is reported that she endures an abusive relationship. In April this year, the music world's biggest celebrity couple, Beyonce and Jay-Z, celebrated their 15th wedding anniversary. But there are many, including Mr. and Mrs. Carter themselves, who believed their relationship would never survive this long. The sweet, shy, church-going girl from Texas and the tough street kid from Brooklyn have been through the worst of times, coming within inches of ending their marriage, their business, and their billion-dollar brand, all thanks to Jay's alleged cheating scandals and his controlling nature. And we know this just like we know about their very passionate sex life because at every step, they have told us exactly what is going on via their music. 
The couple first met back in 2000 at an MTV event in Cancun, Mexico, when Beyonce was an 18-year-old singer in the girl band Destiny's Child and Jay-Z was a 30-year-old platinum album-selling rapper and producer. He sat next to her on the plane. He tells the story in his 2018 song, 713, and within a few years, they would become the world's ultimate it couple. Together, they have a combined 56 Grammys and more than 300 million record sales. Their friendship circle includes the Obamas, Chris Martin, and Oprah Winfrey, and their joint net worth is estimated to be around $3 billion. Now, 41, Beyonce is an international icon, while 53-year-old Jay-Z is one of the most successful and influential musicians of all time. Queen Bey herself revealed in a 2011 interview that it hasn't been an easy ride. I like a simple life, she said, three years after they married at their Manhattan penthouse, surrounded by friends, family, and 70,000 white orchids. I took time out last year because it was important for me to spend time with my man. I got to be a wife. I got to cook for my man. I can do good things with oxtail. And I had one year of keeping everything simple, which is a massive thing for me, the talented entertainer explained. It gets complicated. It may look easy, but none of it is easy. Life, career, marriage, it all takes so much. Well, that's just Beyonce telling us dealing with Jay is not a walk in the park. In a decade and a half of their dazzling success story, they have also faced rumors of his multiple indiscretions and his public admission of an affair. She has gone through several heartbreaking miscarriages before becoming a mother to their three children, Blue Ivy, 11, and five-year-old twins, Rumi and Sir. There have been family rifts, years of therapy, and a vow renewal 10 years after they first tied the knot. Perhaps the most extraordinary aspect of this uber couple relationship is the fact that, on the surface, things are kept extremely private with a smiling united front. But when it comes to their music, all their dirty washing is hung out to dry in eye-watering, honest lyrics. Take, for example, that infamous elevator incident following a Met Ball after party back in 2014. CCTV footage released showed Beyonce's furious sister Solange kicking and punching Jay-Z while the superstar herself stood calmly back, watching as the events unfolded. As the rumor mill went into overdrive with stories surfacing of Jay-Z's indiscretions with other women, from Rihanna to Rita Ora and the fashion designer Rachel Roy, all of whom have denied any involvement, the couple then made it their business to be seen together at sports events, and the sisters posted happy family photos of each other on social media. A joint statement was released with the message, the most important thing is that our family has worked through it. They both have apologized to each other, and we have moved forward as a united family. At the end of the day, families have problems and we're no different. We love each other, and above all, we are family. Bay and Jay made it clear to the world that this scandal was not going to destroy their seemingly perfect world. With the singer smiling her way through the speculation of his affairs, yet just one month later, when the couple began their On The Run tour, Beyonce pointedly changed some of her lyrics, letting her fans know she had not let her husband get away with anything and she knew exactly who he'd been cheating with. On her track resentment, the words, I'll always remember feeling like I was no good, like, I couldn't do it for you like your mistress could, became I'll always remember feeling like I was no good, like I couldn't do it for you like that whack bitch could. Later in the song, Queen Bey sings, been riding with you for six years, I gotta look at her in her eyes and see she's had half of me, became been riding with you for 12 years, I gotta look at her in her eyes and see she's had half of me, she ain't even half of me, that bitch will never be. In front of her man and in front of her fans as her onstage persona, Sasha Fierce, she let her music do the talking, publicly throwing blows at Jay-Z and the other woman with far more impact than her sister ever did. Well, it seems the only way Beyonce can fight back is through her songs. After all, she is married to a powerful, rich, and influential man. As for Rita, since ditching Rock Nation, she has gone ahead to marry Taika Waititi, a movie director. The Let You Love Me singer and Thor Love and Thunder director first sparked romance rumors in April 2021 before making their red carpet debut roughly five months later. They later got married in August 2022. So for Rita, it appears all the risks of leaving Rock Nation were worth it. I'm not sure we can say the same about Beyonce. We feel sorry she's stuck with Jay-Z for life. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.